Senator Al Franken announced his resignation on Thursday, becoming the highest-ranking U.S. politician yet to step down in the wake of widening allegations of sexual misconduct against powerful men in Hollywood, Silicon Valley, the media, and politics. Speaking on the Senate floor, Franken, who said he would quit in the coming weeks, said, all women deserve to be heard and their experiences taken seriously. But he said that his response to the sexual misconduct allegations gave some people the false impression that I was admitting doing things that I hadn't done. Some of the allegations against me are simply not true. Others I remember differently. Serving in the U.S. Senate was, he said, the great honor of my life. He went on, I know in my heart that nothing I have done as a senator, nothing has brought dishonor on this institution. Nevertheless, he said, I am announcing that in the coming weeks I will be resigning as a member of the United States Senate. His decision followed a cascade of calls on Wednesday, led by Senate Democratic women who urged Franken, one of their party's most popular figures, to step down. In every workplace in America, including the U.S. Senate, we must confront the challenges of harassment and misconduct. Enough is enough, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand of New York said in a lengthy Facebook post that started the wave. As elected officials, we should be held to the highest standards, not the lowest. Chuck Schumer, the Senate minority leader, worked quietly throughout the day on Wednesday urging Franken to step down. According to a person familiar with the call, Schumer called Franken early on Wednesday before any of his colleagues made public statements to deliver that message and later met Franken and his wife at Schumer's Washington apartment. Schumer, along with several of the women who just a day before had called for his resignation, gathered on the Senate floor with their chairs swiveled toward Franken to listen to his remarks. In the gallery above, Senate staff and aides passed tissues, sniffling as Franken moved through his 11 minute remarks. What I want you to know, Franken said, directing his comments at the next generation of political activists, is that even today, even on the worst day of my political life, I feel like it's all been worth it. He continued, I know that the work I've been able to do has improved people's lives. I would do it all over again in a heartbeat. When Franken finished, the room fell silent. One by one, his colleagues rose to embrace him starting with Amy Klobuchar, Minnesota's senior senator. Gilly Brand wiped her eyes. Senator Maisie Hirono put her arm around Senator Patty Murray in a show of support. And the Republican Senator Jeff Flake crossed the aisle to shake Franken's hand. But no one rose to speak in tribute after he left, there was only silence as he hugged staff before walking off the floor. In the last several weeks, Franken, 66, has been accused by more than half a dozen women of groping or trying to forcibly kiss them. The senator has apologized for his behavior and asked the Senate Ethics Committee to investigate him.